today we're going to discuss stated main idea. Now what exactly is a stated main idea? Well, it is one complete sentence that represents the basic message the author wants the reader to understand about the topic. Where can you find one of these stated main ideas? They can be found anywhere in a paragraph or passage. Now what is a topic? Well, in order to understand a stated main idea, it's the first thing you have to find. And that would be the who or whatever the author is talking about. The topic will be a noun, phrase, or the pronoun repeated over and over in the passage. We're going to take a look at an example here of a topic. The children decided to make cookies on Christmas Eve as soon as their parents fell asleep. First, they got out grandmother's recipe book and assembled all the ingredients for making their family's favorite dessert. Next, the cooks pulled out every bowl and cookie sheet in the kitchen and dirtied every single one of them with the cookie dough. As they measured and mixed, dropped the precious chocolate chip mounds onto the sheets and licked the beaters. Then they put the cookies in the oven and set the timer. As soon as the timer went off, the delicacies were removed and a few samples eaten just to make sure they were suitable for their jolly visitor in the red suit who was due to arrive any minute. Now, for group one, example here, if you chose cookies as a topic, well, then you're absolutely correct. And what other words represent this particular topic? Well, the phrases, favorite dessert, cookie dough, chocolate chip mounds, and they mention the cookies again later on. And they, actually, the word delicacies, they all refer to the same topic, which is cookies. Okay, let's... Let's move on. We're going to look at another example. We're finding the topic again. Flyer the cat loved to play with his stuffed animal, Mickey, while putting on a show for his human audience. He would dart after the toy, grab it, and try to pull its tail off. The cat would bat the toy up in the air, smack the little fake mouse with his paw, and viciously jump on his prey. As soon as the toy squeaked, he would jump three feet in the air and run away, leaving his human fan club laughing. It was all part of his daily fun because after dashing away, Flyer would charge right back on the scene, ready for more action. Okay, well, let's take a look and find the topic in this one. Now, if you said Flyer or the cat, you would be absolutely correct. And also, the pronoun he is also representing the topic. Let's move on to another key point here. Now besides locating the topic, what other strategies are used to find the stated main idea? Well, first of all, you need to look for a special listing phrase like many ways, several examples, four strategies, etc. But what is and how do you use a listing phrase? Well, a listing phrase is a phrase that looks like many ways, several examples, four reasons, or a number of factors, etc that form a part of a stated main idea. Now in the next example, we're going to use the phrase many ways as a listing phrase and reading as the topic. There are many ways to improve your reading. First, you must understand new words as you encounter them. So writing them in a journal, looking up their meaning, and using them in a paragraph are all very good strategies for learning those new words. 
Next, you must practice reading every day to keep up your skill. Furthermore, you should underline the important points as you uncover them, so you can check your understanding of the reading material. Finally, you should use the highlighted material to make a summary of what you have read, so you can analyze the contents and understand the concepts that have been presented to you. Now, for Group 3, the topic is actually reading. And the listing phrase, here it is. It's emboldened, but I'm going to underline it for extra emphasis. There are many ways to improve your reading. So we know basically that this first sentence right here is your main idea. There are many ways to improve your reading. Now the stated main idea will always contain your topic. There it is. And it will state your main idea, the basic message or concept that the author wants you to understand about the topic. In this case, he or she wants you to know that there are many ways to improve your reading. Why is many ways a listing phrase? Because after the phrase many ways, you would expect to find listing words like first, next, furthermore, and finally, to show you that an author is listing the ways in which you can improve your reading. So let's move on to another example. If we ever survive this vacation, I will give you three reasons why I will pick our holiday destination next year. First of all, you know I hate the cold. So why did you bring me to the Ice Palace in Quebec? Are you crazy or just mean? Second, we don't speak French, so we never get the right food when we order it in the restaurants. I know I need to lose weight, but I'm not going to starve anymore because I don't understand what I'm eating. Finally, if you think that I want to suit up to go snowmobiling or skiing in 20 below zero weather on my vacation, you're out of your mind. I'll sit here by fire and sip eggnog while I watch you frolicking in that nasty white stuff. Okay, sounds like some irate spouse is talking and not happy with the choice of vacation here. Let's find the topic. Well, if you say vacation, you would be absolutely correct. Now, what's the basic message or concept that the author wants you to get? Don't forget to look for that special listing phrase. Now, let's scan here. Ah, here it is. I will give you three reasons. And again, we have our stated main idea right here in this particular sentence. If we ever survive this vacation, I will give you three reasons why I will pick our holiday destination next year. And then we see the signal words that show us that the supporting details are coming up. It's a list of supporting details. And we'll move on to another example. but not till we look at another key point. Another strategy for finding the main idea would be to look at the words at the beginning of a sentence like but, in contrast, however, in spite of, etc. These contrast signal or transition words show that some introductory sentences have been written and a main idea has been introduced that shows a contrasting idea to the preceding material. Now we're going to move along to the example that I promised before. As the sun set on the horizon, 
Brilliant plumes of crimson and orange filled the sky, just dotted here and there with white fluffy clouds. The herons and other birds circled the sky and then dipped into the marsh, a scene of serenity, nature's gift to those whose lives were filled with the insanity of deadlines, computers, and dwindling paychecks. But suddenly, without warning, the storm struck as a huge bolt of lightning lit up the east and the torrential rains poured out of the skies. The weather had turned on us with a vengeance. The sun disappeared and darkness fell upon us and the wind howled. Perhaps Mother Nature felt we needed reminding about who was boss and who was an insignificant speck of life. Well, I'm asking you again, let's go look for the topic because that's going to give you your first foundation. It's going to help you find your main idea. Well, it's something to do with nature. And let's see, Mother Nature or the weather. This is your actual topic, nature or weather. Now let's go look for clue words like however, in contrast, but something like that and see what we can see what we can come up with. Aha. Here we are. This word certainly would indicate that we've come up with something else. Introductory material at the beginning and then all of a sudden, but suddenly without warning, the storm struck as a huge bolt of lightning lit up the east and the torrential rains poured out of the skies. This is our stated main idea. So I'm just going to mark that out just so you can see that that's one of those special main ideas. It starts with a contrast signal word, but in contrast, however, etc., etc. And notice that the stated main idea can be found anywhere in the paragraph. That's why you have to be extremely careful when you're looking for the main idea because it's kind of sneaky. It can be found anywhere. We're going to look at another example here. I was happily relaxing during my break, reading books, making favorite recipes, and enjoying the company of good friends. The days went on with not a care in sight, no schedules, no meetings, no work, no email. Wow, just good times. However, one day the trance of the holiday spirit was broken. I had made that terrible mistake of looking at my email and I realized that I wasn't ready for next year at the office. Because I had forgotten that I had some outstanding work that I would have to complete, I was afraid that I would never enjoy that cheery holiday feeling again. Since I can't stand to have deadlines and responsibilities hanging over my head during my holiday breaks, I decided to throw myself into the task and still have some downtime to look forward to. Although it took a great deal of effort to force myself to finish the work, I completed it. And then finally, I heaved a sigh of relief as I headed into yet another full week of my precious Christmas break. Ah, I finally got back to it. So let's go look for our topic. And what have we found here? Well, let's see. If you said the holiday spirit or holiday break, Christmas break, that would be a very good choice for topic. Now, Have we found any special listing words? Uh, I can't see any of those. But let's look for the other kind of words that we would, had just mentioned. What about however, but, in contrast, something like something of that nature? Let's go look. Ah, uh, sentence three. However, here we are. However, one day the trance of the holiday spirit was broken. You are looking right here at your stated main idea. And I'm just going to circle it so you can definitely pick it up without any question. There is your stated main idea. And if you came to the same conclusion, excellent. You're doing very well. 
Let's keep on going with the lesson. Another strategy to find the main idea. Sometimes you have to look for something that is overarching or a very general idea. Think about the structure of a paragraph. It will contain a topic, a main idea, and supporting details. And now we're going to look at an example of this. The children decided to make cookies on Christmas Eve as soon as their parents fell asleep. First, they got out grandmother's recipe book and assembled all the ingredients for making their family's favorite dessert. Next, the cooks pulled out every bowl and cookie sheet in the kitchen and dirtied every single one of them with the cookie dough as they measured and mixed, dropped the precious chocolate chip mounds onto the sheets, and licked the beaters. Then they put the cookies in the oven and set the timer. As soon as the timer went off, the delicacies were removed and a few samples eaten to make sure that they were suitable for their jolly visitor in the red suit who was due to arrive any minute. Okay, let's take a peek at this. First of all, we're going to look for the topic. And if you said cookies, just like before, you'd be right. We keep mentioning them, cookies, cookie dough, chocolate chip mounds, cookies, delicacies. All right. Okay, now let us look for any special listing phrases like three reasons, for example, several strategies. Can you find any of those? No, I can't. Well, let's look at our next strategy. How about looking for a special contrast word like however, but, in spite of, or in contrast? Can't find any of those either. So what do we do now? Well, we look for a sentence that states something general or is an overarching big picture idea. Now, how do we do that? If something is general, then the other sentences will be more specific. So let's look at the sentences again to answer these questions. If we analyze these, we will see that the first sentence is actually more general because it talks about children making cookies on Christmas Eve. And then starting with sentence two, you see that the next sentences are actually more specific because they're giving you specific supporting details about the steps the children took to make their cookies. From their grandmother's recipe, then they pull out all the bowls and they get on with making the cookies, put them in the oven, and, and they bake them, and then they have a, just a little sample to make sure that they're okay. Okay, and each of these supporting details actually has a special signal word to show you that you have another supporting detail coming up. So you can see that they are separated from the main idea. So basically, if you consider that sentences starting with first, next, then, and as soon as the timer went off, these are more specific details about the main idea. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with the very first sentence, which is more general or overarching. And this would be your stated main idea right here. I hope that makes sense to you. And since I did this with all the others, uh, my, my drawing's not very good, but my heart's in the right place. So the very first sentence is that big general overarching main idea. And there you have it. Let's try another example.
Flyer the Cat loved to play with his stuffed animal, Mickey, while putting on a show for his human audience. He would dart after the toy, grab it, and try to pull its tail off. He would viciously throw Mickey up in the air, bat the little fake mouse with his paw, and jump on his prey. The toy would squeak, and Flyer the Entertainer would jump three feet in the air and run away screeching, leaving his audience laughing hysterically. It was all part of his daily fun, because after dashing away, Flyer would charge right back on the scene, ready for more fun with his victim. Okay, so you know the strategies that we use. First of all, what do we look for? Well, we're going to look for the topic, first of all. And the topic is Flyer or the cat. And don't forget the pronouns can also be used to stand in the place of the topic. We have his, we have he. Definitely flyer the cat. Okay, now what is he doing in the paragraph? Let's separate the general from the specific. In this paragraph, there are no signal or transition words to help us find the more specific sentences that are also known as the supporting details. So we'll have to look closely. What do you think? Sentence one tells us that the cat likes to play with its toys and entertain humans. The other sentences describe how he interacts with his toy. Therefore, sentences two through five are supporting details that are more specific than sentence one. So therefore, in conclusion, which do you think is the overarching or the big main idea, the basic message or concept? Well, look at sentence one. Flyer the cat loved to play with a stuffed animal. Here you have the stated main idea. He loved to play with a stuffed animal by putting on a show for his human audience. So here is our stated, oops, too bad I can't draw very well with this, stated main idea. And all the other senses are much more specific and they are the supporting details. Okay, we're just going to do a little wrap up on stated main idea. Now remember, to find the stated main idea, first of all, look for your topic, look for special listing phrases like there are many ways, three ways, several examples, five strategies, etc. Look for special contrast words like but, however, in contrast, in spite of, at the beginning of a sentence. And look for sentences that give specifics about the topic, the supporting details, and eliminate these sentences as the main idea. Look for a sentence that is more general, a big overarching idea. And don't forget that the stated main idea can be found anywhere in a paragraph or passage. And one more thing that we haven't covered yet, just like in math, always do a proof to make sure you have chosen wisely. Once you have found the stated main idea, ask yourself, well, why aren't those other sentences the main idea? I'm going to give you an example of this so you will be able to find your stated main idea 100% of the time. And here comes our example. We're going to use one of the paragraphs that we used before, but this time I'm going to use it to explain how to do your roof. The children decided to make cookies on Christmas Eve as soon as their parents fell asleep. First, they got out grandmother's recipe book and assembled all the ingredients for making their family's favorite dessert. Next, the cooks pulled out every bowl and cookie sheet in the kitchen and dirtied every single one of them. with the cookie dough as they measured and mixed. And they dropped the precious chocolate chip mounds onto the sheets and licked the beaters. Then they put the cookies in the oven and set the timer. 
As soon as the timer went off, the delicacies were removed and a few samples eaten to make sure they were suitable for their jolly visitor in the red suit who was due to arrive any minute. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there is no period at the end of this sentence. And I am going to change that. I'm going to put the period in right now because, well, that's not a very good period, but it's the best I can do for the time being. Anyway. Always have to have a period at the end of a sentence. Okay, let's do a little analysis on this. For group nine example, how to prove you have found the main idea. We have already identified the stated main idea, but which is sentence number one right here. But why? Are the other not sentences not the stated main idea? Okay, well, let's figure that out. Why isn't sentence two, for example, the, sen the stated main idea? First, they got out grandmother's recipe book and assembled all the ingredients for making their family's favorite dessert. Well, first of all, the stated main idea will never start with a transition word. Next, and you look at all the other sentences, they are giving very specific information about the children getting out recipes and getting all the ingredients assembled, putting them together, and actually making the cookies, putting them in the oven, etc., etc. Sentences two through five give very specific information, also known as supporting details, about sentence one. Now, obviously, the one that's the most general is sentence one and all of the other sentences are much more specific. So you could select any sentence and apply this reasoning to make sure that you have picked the correct answer.